Hello guys, this is Roy and welcome to another brand new video on this channel. And today in this video, we will talk about Windows 10 update. Is Windows 10 update sucks? I love Windows and I started using Windows from Windows XP and now I'm using Windows 10. But whenever I get a Windows update, yeah, my PC gets some problem like, so there is some driver problems, the Windows get really laggy. And few days ago on my Alienware X51, I get a huge update about 2-3 GB Windows update and, and at this time I was editing on my PC and Windows asked me for restart the PC. After I restarting I realized that okay I supposed to not to do this thing. This thing break my PC again. Uh, the graphics card isn't working. Uh, the Windows is lagging like hell. Then it's giving me blue skin error and then I decided on oh, enough is enough. I am not going to update Windows 10 again. I have to disable it anyway. So now there is a case like in Windows 7 you can disable Windows update, Windows automatic update uh, but Windows 10 there is no option that can allow you to disable Windows 10 update but somehow I figured it out like four or five days I just working on it and figured it out how to do that. I will share with you four or five tricks in this video and if you guys follow it you also able to disable the Windows update. So if you guys want to disable Windows update, Windows 10 update, watch this video till the end in the comment section below what is your experience with Windows 10. Do really Windows 10 update sucks? Let me in the comment section below and, and if you have any problem disabling Windows 10 update also let me know in the comment section below. I definitely answer every one of your questions. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Now guys, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks that you can do to disable Windows update completely. And before doing that, make sure you take your Windows backup or create a backup disk, make a recovery, clone your hard disk, do whatever you can do. But make sure you take your Windows backup. So if anything goes wrong, you have a backup of your PC. I'm using Windows 10 home single language version. This is the latest version. I download it today and install it on my PC. So I disabled my network and if I go to Windows update, like type here update, check for updates, update available last check today 12 mm. Now if I turn on the Wi-Fi or any network, it automatically download the update. I don't have any option to disable it. But on previous Windows 7, we have an option to disable the auto update. So as soon as you connected with the network, Windows 10 automatically download the update. Now guys, I'm going to show you two tricks that temporarily disable the Windows 10 auto update. Press Windows plus R. This is the run. Now type here services.msc. This is the all of the services list and find Windows update. Scroll down and here windows update windows update this is the okay you need to stop it okay now as you see guys this is now stop and then after stopping it disable apply okay so below windows update there is a call windows update medic services okay it's now it started running again like you can disable it stop it it's even disabled it started running again so this windows update medic services you can't you can stop it this but you cannot disable it okay access denied access denied okay this windows update medic service automatically enable this windows update services so we don't have any options here to disable the windows update so this will disable your windows update temporarily not permanently next what you can do if you are a wi-fi network you can go to properties scroll down and you can set the meter connection on by default it's set up on it for a limited data plan you can turn on metered connection uh, this will temporarily disable the windows update not all update but uh, sometime windows will download few updates that is necessary but it will not completely disable windows update so you can turn these settings on if you are in a limited connection or if you don't want windows forcefully push the update to your pc now if we check for update it will show error message windows update failed retry hey guys it's next day i woke up in the morning and opened my pc and then check for update again 
and try to find out we are getting the same update or not but as soon as i open it and windows getting automatically updated it's downloading the data the status is scroll back to original settings and windows automatically downloading the update so these two tricks is for temporarily it's not going to work so guys as you see that disabling the windows update services will not disable windows update but there is another way to completely disable the windows update so to do that press and hold windows plus r key to run and type gpedit.msc for editing the group policy and if you are a windows home user you probably get this error windows cannot find gpedit.msc make sure you type the name correctly and then try again so if you get this error uh, I have a solution for you. Go to the description. I probably give the download link of this rare file in the description below. Download it and open it. Uh, it's a WinRAR file, so you need to download WinRAR to open it. If you don't have the WinRAR installed, you will not able to open this file. So go ahead and download the WinRAR and install it and open this file. And the password is subscribe to Roy Tech Tips. Now extract this to in desktop or any location. And inside this folder, you will get add gpedit.msg file, double click it and you will get a setup file. Double click here. Give the setup.exe the administrator privilege to run it. Yes. Next to install. Install. It will uh, install the gpedit to your PC. Finish. An app on your PC need following Windows features .NET Framework 3.5. So if your Windows do not contain .NET 3.5, go ahead and download and install it. As my system is new, it isn't installed. So I'm going to download it and install it. Download. It will take some time. .NET Framework 3.5 successfully installed. Close. Now restart the PC shut down update and restart hey guys reboot complete now let's see that we are able to get the group policy or not on this system so again press windows r and type here gpedit.msc now hit ok so you will get same error message again windows cannot find gpedit.msc make sure you type the name correctly and then try again so uh, basically guys like if, if you are using windows 10 32 bit uh, this error will not show so i'm using windows 10 64 bit so guys now you need to do little bit extra works to get it working now open your file explorer go to this pc go to your windows where windows is installed my windows is installed in c open then go to windows then find system u64 then you need to copy three files number one is group policy group policy number two group policy users and third is gpedit.msc okay let's find this three here so here i find the group policy and group policy user folders copy here and paste it to desktop again i need to find the gpedit.msc and if unable to find the gpedit.msc go to the folder again and extract this setup file again then right click run as administrator install it again next next okay finish Let's run gpedit again. Gpedit.msc. Oh, again, I'm getting error. 
So go to system 32 and find your GP editors. Copy the file, copy and paste on this desktop. Okay, let's copy these two folder again, delete it. And where is the group policy? This is those two folder, copy and paste it in the desktop. Now go to C Windows, basically the where your Windows is installed, maybe it's D for you. And then go to System32 and paste all of these two folders and GP edit here. Scroll it down and paste here, paste, give it a permission, continue, continue. Now let's see GP edit install or not. GP edit. Yes, it's successfully installed. Yes. So after opening the group policy, go to local computer policy, then administrator template. Templates. Open it. Then go to Windows components. Then Windows update. Now here you see all of these windows update options and on the right side you see configure automatic updates double click here and enable then select to notify for download and notify for install apply. Now automatic update decision frequency make it disable apply okay allow automatic update immediate installation disable it apply okay delay restart schedule installation disable it apply ok this one disable it apply ok and here it is interesting option specify internet microsoft update service location so you can set the service location maybe a google.com maybe something so it only looking for the location not microsoft location so that's a good thing like set it at google.com or 192.168 something like that like http double slash clone clone uh, 127.0.0.1 and copy it it is looking for the local server always apply and then uh, enable client side trying disable it apply schedule automatic updates schedule installation disable apply okay not auto restart schedule automatic update enable do not enable apply just let's enable it apply do not adjust default option for install update and shut down dialog box. Let's disable it and apply. Now let's check for update again. Restart record. Your device triggers outside active hours. Okay. So I'm going to restart it and see what is the situation. Turn off. Update and restart. So now check the update again. Check for update. Okay, now it's not able to check the Windows update. So guys, now this is the fourth trick. So again, go to the services. Dot msc open run and open the services. Dot msc. So this is the services and go to Windows update. Find Windows update. This is the Windows update is running. Stop it. So now it is stopped and make it disable. Apply. Then stop again. Okay, services is stopped. Now open the file explorer. computer C Windows and find the folder name software distribution this is and here is the download so in the download folder Windows downloaded this is the update files that's temporarily downloaded here so what you can do like delete everything from here delete it shift delete it's not going to hurt your PC 200 MB continue Do this for all current items. Continue. Now 
optimize delete it completed now that is this is the folder name rename it copy and on the desktop create a same folder new same name paste now delete this download folder delete and go to this download folder properties and go to security uh, select the system then to change permission click edit to edit okay system and deny all deny full control deny for system user apply yes okay okay and cut the folder and paste it continue so now the system user don't have the permission to download inside the folder which is the default folder for windows to download the update do this trick work for you guys now restart the system shut down turn off restart now finally check for update again error encounter last check today 2 18 am okay so it's not able to update so finally i think you guys also uh, do the same thing and if you do it uh, windows will not get automatic update and let's check the services again okay windows update is disabled awesome and i think guys this trick will definitely work for you guys and before doing any kind of thing make sure you take your backup of your system take your photos take your document anything whatever you have take uh, make a backup copy of it make a backup of your windows so uh, you can roll back if you want hmm. hey guys so i tried this trick near about three days ago and today i'm going to check it again that is it rolled back or this disable windows auto update trick is working or not so let's check the update again and confirm it that is working so i'll take it on my pc and find out that windows 10 auto update isn't working update check for update check for update wow there is a problem installing update but we will try later if you keep seeing this and want to search from the web support information this may help so they're giving a, a error code and we successfully disabled this update so guys that's it for today hope you like this video if you like it make sure to smack a big thumbs up on this video meet with you on my next video and if you have any question any suggestion let me know in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to this channel make sure you subscribe for upcoming more video like this and make sure you hit the bell icon so whenever i upload any new video you get notified so guys that's it for today meet with you on my next video till then bye bye